the A320 family has three independent hydraulic systems green, yellow and blue. Let's look at each system in more detail. The green and yellow hydraulic systems are each pressurized by an engine driven pump. The yellow hydraulic system can also be pressurized by an electric pump used on the ground when engines are stopped, by a hand pump used by crew members in order to operate the cargo doors when no electrical power is available. A power transfer unit, PTU, enables the green and yellow system to pressurize each other automatically. Fire shutoff valves are located between the reservoirs and the engine driven pumps. They are controlled by the engine fire push button switches. The blue hydraulic system is pressurized by an electric pump. In an emergency, the blue system can be pressurized by the ram air turbine, RAT. Each hydraulic system delivers a constant pressure to the users. The components we have talked about are displayed on the ECAM hydraulic page, except the hand pump on the yellow system. Let's briefly review the basic system using the ECAM hydraulic page. Reservoirs Fire shutoff valves Engine driven pumps Electrical pumps RAT PTU Pressure indications the controls of all the components we have talked about are located on the overhead hydraulic control panel. Let's now compare the ECAM hydraulic page with this panel. The hydraulic system is fully automatic. However, each pump and the PTU have an associated push button switch for abnormal operation. Each engine driven pump is controlled by a push button switch located on the overhead panel. Each electrical pump is controlled by a push button switch. The PTU is controlled by a push button switch. The RAT may be extended manually by using this guarded push button switch. Let's look at things pilots need to know about the hydraulic system during normal operation. The hydraulic system is fully automatic during normal operation. During preliminary cockpit preparation, do not pressurize the hydraulic system without clearance from ground crew. The door page is displayed when engines are not running. To see what happens, on the ECAM hydraulic page when a cargo door is opened. We have to select the hydraulic key on the ECAM control panel. You can notice that the hollow triangle is white, indicating that the yellow electric pump is off. As soon as the cargo handle is operated, the yellow electric pump runs automatically. Observe on the ECAM system display page that the yellow hydraulic electric pump triangle has changed from hollow white to solid green, indicating that it is running. The yellow system pressure has increased from 0 amber to 3000 green, providing pressure to operate the doors. The yellow system is not fully pressurized as indicated by the system identification remaining amber. As soon as the door is fully open, the yellow electric pump stops. Notice that the yellow electric pump is now hollow white. The pressure has dropped to zero, indicating that the system is totally depressurized. 
the process will be the same during the cargo door closure. As you already know, during engine start, the engine page is displayed on the ECAM system display. Here, for training purposes, the hydraulic page is displayed to see the automatic operations of the hydraulic system during start. But, more importantly, to learn the indications on the ECAM hydraulic page and their meaning. We will start engine 2 for you. During this sequence, observe the yellow system. You can notice that the pump's legend becomes amber as soon as the engine mode selector is set to ignition start. The yellow engine driven pump changes from low amber to inline green to indicate that it is starting to pressurize. Yellow pressure increases from zero amber to the normal operating pressure which is 3000 psi green. Yellow system identification has changed from amber to white to indicate that the yellow hydraulic system is available as soon as pressure is above 1450 psi. Before the end of the first engine start sequence, the blue electric pump starts automatically to pressurize the blue hydraulic system. Then the pump number indication changes from amber to white to indicate that the engine N2 has reached idle. Observe that the blue electric pump indication is now green in line to indicate that the pump is running and pressurized. The pressure in the blue system is 3000 psi. The blue hydraulic system identification has changed from amber to white to indicate that the blue hydraulic system is available greater than 1450 psi. Let's now start engine 1. During this sequence, observe the PTU indication as well as green hydraulic system indications. As soon as the second engine start sequence is initiated, the power transfer unit PTU is tested. The PTU connects the yellow and green systems as long as the green and yellow differential pressure is greater than 500 psi. On the engine warning display, the hydraulic PTU memo is displayed. Note, PTU is inhibited when parking brake is set and only one engine is running. Once the start sequence is complete, the PTU is disconnected and the three hydraulic systems are supplied normally. Notice that the hydraulic PTU memo has disappeared.